So I'm looking into my crystal ball, and in 2019, the Galaxy S10 isn't going to matter that much. At least not as much as we think it's going to. I'll tell you why right after this. This, this is, uh, you know you listening to, to Travis. What up, players? Welcome back. And for all you new people, welcome. My name's Travis, and I do tech videos every single week and have a blast doing them. If that sounds like fun to you, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Anything I talk about will be in the description below. But for now, let's get into the video. Before I get started, I want to tell you about the Discord that I just started. If you want to chat with other people who love tech and myself, there's a Discord link in the description below. I'd love to see you there. The Galaxy S10. It's supposed to be the most amazing phone that Samsung's ever created. With a complete glass front and a little tiny dot or maybe a long, elongated pig. What the hell is going on? Listen, most people are just barely getting used to having two options. You know, like the small phone and the big phone of the same type. We got used to that over the last couple of years with like the 7 and 7 Plus and the S and S8 Plus. You know, those things made sense. You had one that was a smaller size and one was, that was a bigger. But now Samsung is following Apple where you got three different phones and you've got to try to explain to the average consumer which one they should buy. And let me tell you something, the average consumer is only going to look at one thing and that's price. And that's why this is not going to be a huge savior for Samsung. Listen. I've been a Samsung fan for years. I've had a Samsung phone every single year since the S2. I went from S2 to S3 and then went all the way up to Note. Note 2 all the way up to the Note 9, which I have now. But I'm a unique consumer. Every year I want to upgrade my phone. I want to have the latest and greatest. And this is also what would worry me if I'm a real big Samsung Knight. Because last year was the first year that I upgraded my Samsung Note phone and wasn't exactly excited about it. Like. The guy who can't wait to get his new phone forgot it was even released and got it like a week after it came out. I've never done that before. So if a hardcore fan like me can't get excited about it, the average consumer isn't gonna give two craps about it. And let me tell you something, sales figures tell that story. This past year, the S9, which was an excellent phone, sold less than the S8 or S7. I mean, huh? And despite the fact it's one of the best phones they ever created, it's gonna be one of the worst selling ones. So what's going on? Well, it could be a couple of things. Number one, smartphones actually last a pretty long time nowadays. The power that they give you right up front lasts you several years. I've seen many people with S6s, iPhone 6s, iPhone 7s, S7s, walking the streets like it's not strange. And to us tech heads, that's unthinkable. Like, what are you doing with a phone that's two years old? But that's not how the average consumer thinks, and that's what tips the scales. The average consumer will upgrade when their phone is either broken or there's an incredible deal. And despite the fact that at the beginning of the year, the S9 was pretty much buy one, get one on all carriers, they still couldn't sell enough of them. And to be clear, they sold a lot. They just haven't sold as many as they have in the past. And you can't expect to continue to sell a tremendous amount of phones when you only have a certain amount of people that's gonna buy them. And when you have phones that last a really long time, well, that's kind of what happens. And Apple's falling victim to this as well. Because their operating system works backwards many phones, some people weren't upgrading their iPhones this year. You then become the victim of your own success. You make a really good phone with really good hardware and a really good camera. Why would you upgrade to something that's just a little bit better that you might not ever notice? And I gotta be honest, like my Note 9's great. They're gonna have to try really hard to get me to upgrade. That, that's weird for me to say, coming out of my mouth with a tech YouTube channel. They're gonna have to come with something amazing for me to want to buy it. And we've already seen the leaks. Look at this, there's three phones. Why are there three phones? It's almost like they don't get it. You don't wanna come out with three different phones, three different sizes. That's not the point. That you're, you don't add more, you're adding confusion. Samsung, what are you doing? I mean, it was barely tolerable when you added two. Once upon a time, it was the phone coming out, the S5 or sometimes the S5 Active, or the Note 5. Like it was one thing. So you can concentrate on one thing. Now that you got three, you have no idea what you should buy, except for what you can afford. Beyond that, it's kind of pointless. They should drop the middle phone, whatever that is, and concentrate on a lower end phone and a high end phone and leave it at that. How are you gonna sell tens of millions of phones across multiple different colors and three different sizes? Like how many people do you think you're actually selling to? This is a problem and Samsung is not looking at the bigger picture. What they're trying to do is capture all the market, but they're not really thinking about the real mid-end market. 
if these prices are true and the low end Samsung S10 is $900, that's not a budget or even a mid-level price. That's still flagship price. By the way, Samsung, have you ever seen the OnePlus 6T? It's pretty good and it's less than $600. So this alleged light S10 is a joke. I'm not gonna pay $900 for a light anything. Maybe a light Tesla. I mean, how insulting is it for someone to take out almost $1,000 and probably after tax $1,000 and you get the low end version of it? Seems to me Samsung needs to get a kick in their butt. They don't really understand. Like they're losing touch with their fan base and more importantly with the general population of people who need smartphones. They need to simplify down, stop making so many options, and just make a good phone and leave the rest alone. And if they really wanna come in and wipe out the competition, bring out a smartphone that's amazing at $600. A good Samsung $600 phone would wipe the floor with all the other Android phones out there. It would be a wrap and watch them not do that. This is basically the best way that Samsung can win. There's a lot of people out there with S7s S6s, and maybe even some S8s that might be looking to upgrade this year. You gotta have a tremendous and very aggressive trade-in program for those people. If you do that, get them into an S10 of some sort, then you might win. And shout out to Samsung for doing similar things to this in the past, but they've gotta be really aggressive about it this year. This S10 is supposed to change everything. It's supposed to change the tide. And many people, many Android lovers are looking to this phone to see if Android can finally come back with a phone that rivals whatever Apple is kicking out. So this is it, Samsung. Don't drop the ball. We're all looking right at you. I don't know if you got it figured out yet. I mean, the phone looks great, but I think you've lost your way. And y'all, listen, I might be wrong on all this, but let me just say one thing. I am a Samsung fan, and I'm looking forward to this phone, and I hope it's something amazing. But really, it's all about software at this point. These uh, glass front things with, with a little tiny camera hole that almost no one cares about, listen, throw that stuff to the side. Samsung, look at what you need to do to win. It's not really that difficult. Look at what people are asking for and give it to them at a good price. And whether you agree with me or not, leave some comments down below. Do you think the S10 is great? Do you think it's gonna be amazing with three different versions? If so, which one are you gonna buy? My guess it is it won't be it won't be the low end. If this video helped you out in any way, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if it didn't, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. I'm here every single week having a blast. Hope to see you again real soon. Peace and love, peace and love.